here at the first time home builder house and we're at the point now where I'm waiting actually waiting on the, the building inspector uh, that's going to come do the rough end inspection so this is a good chance to show you the rough ends and you know the final framing uh, so we're going to be we're basically ready for insulation and sheetrock right now so let me uh, let me show you a few things uh, since the last time that we've uh, updated okay just from the outside of the house I want you to notice that the house has now this uh, faux brick on it I'm going to put a video link up. Uh, I'm going to put a video link up showing how we went about doing this. It's a super inexpensive way of of giving a brick look to your house. You can use this indoors or outdoors. It's long lasting, durable, and you know something that we do on these less expensive houses like this one right here. So let me just show you a few things. Okay, so we're standing here in the garage part of our basement. Uh, this is a good good place to look at some of the underbelly of this house because this is a garage portion and there's living space above it you have to use 5 8 sheetrock on the ceiling down here for fire code reasons so keep that in mind so all of the rough end stuff that we're going to take a look at you'll see we've built a chase around the around the heating and air HVAC trunk line there all of these uh, flex lines will fit up into the ceiling joist even though it looks like some of them are hanging down now they will fit up in it. You'll see that there's the there's a plug, you know, the outlet for the garage door opener. Everything's looking good. So real pleased with everything here. A couple other things that you want to look at. Here you'll see this is our hot water heater location and where we've also put the pressure test on the gauge on the line. You'll see that we are right at 100 pounds of pressure. So there's plenty of pressure on there. So you're checking to make sure at all your exits that you have sleeves in place around the, the uh, actual drain line there, uh, going through the foundation which is required. And then our other exit right here is the water line where the water line enters the house. You can see the um, you can see the PVC sleeve around it right there. It's filled, um, which will make when they waterproof the outside, uh, so you don't end up with a leak around the hole. You know, electric panel, everything's looking good. Okay, I mentioned in some previous updates that you know I do a pre-punch list for the framers before they're done so they know exactly what I'm looking for as they're wrapping it up. And they can take care of it then. Um, but here's some things after the roughing that you can come back and take a look at it and you'll see exactly what we, what we have here. For one, you notice the blue caulk at the holes there. That is fire caulk. Anywhere that there's holes cut through the plates you have to put fire caulk in there to keep in case of a fire it slows the progress of the fires up into the attic and things of that nature you'll also notice let me see if i can zoom in on it maybe here this is a new thing to require here in east tennessee is hurricane clips okay i've pretty much shown you everything uh, that you're going to be looking for when you get to the you know the end of the framing into the rough ends we're now like I said we're ready for the insulation and the sheet rocking so we're gonna move right along with this um, just remember to look for those few things when you're doing your rough end inspections make sure anywhere they come up through the floor of the plates that they're putting fire caulk in there make sure that your heating and air guy that you've got a unit sized to fit the square footage that you're using make sure your registers are where you want them. make sure your return air is where you want it all of that type of thing um, as far as the electrical Again, you, you walk through it. If it's not written on the plans the way you want it, you walk through You just lay out where you want all the outlets, where you want the phone jacks, cable TV, things of that nature. Uh, lights, different type of switching, different type of all of that stuff that you want to go through. And I'll be happy to email back and forth with you one-on-one -on -one if you have any other questions about that. And then as far as the plumbing goes, when you're looking at the plumbing, make sure that your pressure tests are um, up to code. Make sure that you know, with those pipes, whatever's flowing through them needs to run downhill. You want to take a look at those. If anything looks like it possibly might not be running downhill, which I have seen it running uphill before, you know, put a little level on it and see, make sure that it is. Other than that, we're looking good, ready to go. Okay, so anyway, that's the way we punch out a house just prior to insulation and sheetrock. Um, again, it's not rocket science. Uh, I encourage you to build your own home. I encourage, you know, I think that it's a great business. This is... Um, something I enjoy doing. I hope that uh, if you are building a first time home builder or starting your own business, I hope that you'll check back with us frequently and we'll try to answer any questions that you have and 
please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thanks.